Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 30th. We're going to jump right in here, Cancer. And in your current general energies, you have this achievement card and you also have this impulsiveness card. I kind of like this impulsiveness card because it has that horseshoe there and uh, it's in the right position. It's going up so it can represent luck or kind of like good luck coming in for you. So it seems to me like there could be an achievement coming in for you this week, obviously, and it could be creating a lot of luck for you here. You know what? <laughs> this tells me, this card right here tells me, like, don't rush a victory. So, you know, I feel that you are clearly having a victory or some sort of win, but I do feel it's like saying, number one, like, don't celebrate too soon, but number two, make sure to, and look at this, are you kidding me? Uh, luck card as well, there you go. Um, but also, I think it's kind of like saying, you know, don't um, get too anxious. Sometimes I think when we're very close to a victory or success um, that we kind of get a little bit anxious or we get a little bit worried that things aren't... And, and look, this is an amazing reading here, Cancer. But I think we get a little bit worried that things aren't going to happen the way that they're meant to happen. Sometimes when we're waiting, like when we're in a holding pattern, right? We can make impulsive decisions, Knight of Swords in your first row here. And I feel like it's saying like, don't make those impulsive decisions. Like don't uh, rush things. Like I'm, I'm, I'm working on like a couple new projects right now. And it's like, I'm just like waiting. <laughs> I'm in this position of just like waiting for like all these things to happen. And uh, trust me, I'm not very, I'm, I'm very impulsive. I am not good at waiting, right? But I've had to just be, be like, okay, like things are moving forward. It doesn't have, have to happen this very second. Just like chill out and wait, you know, hurry up and wait, as they say, right? But I feel like you're on the right path. The achievements are coming, right? And I think if you try to force it, you know, try to force things to work, then they're not going to work. But if you can just, um, you know, kind of work with the energy and, you know, I think this is uh, perfectly acceptable right here is the Ace of Pentacles. It's like clearly some of you here, are working on a big opportunity, could be in business or love or any area of your life. If we go this direction, to me, I think this is why you might be feeling anxious, is that four of cups. Four of cups can be like past mistakes. Um, you know, it can be where maybe you thought something was gonna work out and it didn't. You know, again, he's trying to manifest those cups. He's trying to manifest something, but he's he's not picking any of those cups because it's not exactly what he wants. So I'm wondering if some of you have had experiences in like work, business, love, any area of your life and it just wasn't what you wanted. I think this is a good energy. Ace of Pentacles is like taking care of something like a garden. You know, there's a garden in the front here. There's even some mountains in the back which represent an achievement. And you know, it's a card of like really nurturing something into existence. So if you're working on something, it's like, what can you do to nurture the project? You know, especially if it's a project, if it's a relationship, I would say, what can you do to nurture yourself? Because again, if you're like waiting or if you're wanting things to move forward faster, sometimes I think we need to look at ourselves and say like, why do I want this relationship to move forward faster? Usually the answer is because we don't wanna lose it, <laughs> right? We don't want to lose something or the person that we just met, but it's like, can we just slow down and just like enjoy the process, right? Everybody's in such a rush to, I don't know, rip their pants off or something, right? But it's like, you know, it's like the beginning of the relationship is really the good part in the first place. So it's like, what are you in a rush for, right? And I kind of feel that this is saying like, hey, everything is is falling into place here. And that's like really all you need to know, right? You even have these two cards here, the Fool and the Three of Cups, which is like a celebration. Three of Cups is a big celebration coming in for you. I feel and the Fool is like a new beginning. So there's, and so is the Ace of Pentacles as well. So if you don't know what I'm talking about with this reading, <laughs> I feel like there is clearly a new beginning coming in for you. Something that is going to uh, make you happy as well. Look, you end with the sun, which it, it, twice, by the way. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. And it looks to me like there's a lot of luck and a lot of happiness. With the Fool, you have the Chariot, your card showing up in a very strong position. And uh, yeah, I feel like there could be a victory coming in for you here. The chariot also says where there's a will, there's a way. So if there's anything you want to accomplish this week, I think it would be a great week for you to really kind of like put the work in and really uh, make something happen. With the knight of swords, you have the ten of swords. Yes, do not, do not let this happen. Knight of swords is literally saying if you rush, it's going to bring an end to a situation. <laughs> so I feel like this is saying like just embrace, embrace the in-between like this next card says. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Literally, the universe saying, I meant what I said. Uh, you know, this part, this first row is pretty straightforward. I feel like there's a big opportunity coming in for you. And it's kind of like you're in a little bit of a 
maybe a slow period because you have this fl flamingo spirit says embrace the in-between. You know, it's almost like this is a baby. It's like, obviously, a baby has to stay in its mother for like nine months, right? In in, in my case, 18 years, right? So uh, what I would say here is it's like if you pull a baby out early, then it can be underdeveloped. And I feel like that's what's going on here. It's funny that I even say with the four of cups that, you know, the four of cups to me is kind of like a card of trying to manifest a cake. But it's like he's got the flour, the sugar, the eggs in front of him. He just needs to mix it all together, right? But the other part of that is that if you take a cake and you just mix everything together, right? Uh, and you could drink the cake soup, but it would be pretty nasty, right? It needs to be baked. It needs to be put in the oven. And, um, you know, I think that's like the perfect representation. Right now, it's like you're just sitting there. You're smelling the cake. You can smell it in the air, the sweetness, the deliciousness, right? But it's like if you were to pull that cake out of the oven right now, it would just be cake soup and it wouldn't taste very good. So it's like you're waiting for things to form. You're waiting for things to develop in some area of your life. That is the perfect way to describe this reading. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one, Cancer. But you have the uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Nine of Cups here. So I feel that it's like you're going to get your fulfillment. Whatever you're waiting for, whatever you're feeling anxious over here or anticipating Cancer, it's on its way. It's here. Or it's, it's in the oven. It's on its way to you. Uh, Nine of Cups to me is a card of joyous expectation. You know, uh, Esther Hicks talks about, or Abraham Hicks talks about joyous expectation all the time, which is just, you know, ex kind of like acting as if as well that you already have something, but just being in joy that you're going to get something that you have been asking the universe for. And it could be anything, could be love, could be business, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I don't think this reading is talking about one thing or the other. I think this reading is trying to say, hey, Cancer, it's a, clearly a lucky time. You have the two luck, two very lucky cards here. So just like sit back and watch your blessings arrive. Look, there's this uh, person right here who is receiving blessings from another person in this stained glass window. So this card can represent blessings coming in for you. He's, he's like hoping and praying for blessings as well. But, you know, I feel like there are blessings coming in, and there, but there's no rush. There's no reason for you to be rushing and panicking and, <laughs> you know, all that other stuff here, Cancer. I think it's time for you to just like take your time and enjoy, enjoy, right? You have the Knight of Pentacles as well. Something is happening too slowly, right? Knight of Pentacles is being too cautious. He's kind of moving slowly. He has everything he needs to plant seeds in this field back here. He's got all the knowledge and wisdom, but he just needs to take action. But at the same time, I do feel this is kind of like saying that you you are kind of in this like hurry up and wait mode. And I feel like you've been in this mode since whatever last week was, the week of the 23rd or something like that. I don't even know what today is. I uh, My computer is turned off. So I, it's not off, but the screen is off. So I can't even see what it is. So there you go. <laughs> but I think it's the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. With the uh, Knight of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, feeling stuck, but you're not actually stuck. I do, again, I feel like if you, I, I do feel like it would make you feel better if you took action, right? A little bit of action towards something, even though I do feel this is saying like, there's really nothing that you need to do other than joyous expe expectation. But what I would say is like, there might be some other ways of doing things. Eight of Swords is only one way of seeing, of seeing only one way of doing things when there could be a lot of ways to do whatever it is you want. So open up to those ideas. With the Four of Swords, you have this Temperance card. Things are transforming quickly for you here. So definitely some sort of transformation. It's coming up right next to the Death card. And with the Nine of Wands, or sorry, the Nine of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands like the Wounded Warrior. But Nine of Wands is my card of experimentation as well. It's my card that says, throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. So I think it would be an amazing time to experiment, try new things, try different things in like work, business, you know, any other area of your life. Uh, I think that would be a good idea as well. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have, I, are you kidding me? I didn't even read this card. It says, be patient, trust the weight. Everything is coming together. I mean, literally everything we've been talking about. You have this luck card that says, anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. If you believe that you're lucky, you'll create an abundance mindset. I think this is more than just luck, by the way. I, I like, you know, again, I, I would say joyous expectations. It, it doesn't have to just be luck. It could be anything that you are anticipating in your life. I feel like as long as you're coming at it from a, a position, uh, not of lack, but of joy and, and telling yourself like, I'm going to be, uh, how, how joyful you're going to be when so, whatever this big opportunity is shows up in your life, then that's what you're going to attract. You have the four cups, the death card, in the uh, moon, I do get a feeling here of needing to be very careful of like what people are saying to you. Uh, you know, uh, with this four cups, for whatever reason, it's popping into my head that, you know, 
you might want to keep your ideas to yourself. If I have, and I think I've said it to you before, and if I have, then definitely. But the other thing I would say is, again, do not allow those past doubts or the past reasons why things didn't work out for you to creep into your head. I think that will just hold you back. So definitely time to kind of let those doubts go. You have the death card here. Death is definitely a big transformation. The thing that I love about this reading is this right here. <laughs> this is my favorite part of your reading. Uh, death to the moon to the sun. If you look right here, the sun is coming up between the two pillars that are on the moon card right in the background. So it literally says to me that you are leaving a moon period behind. I think what's unex... Is it really unexpected? I would say no. I, I But maybe... It's like sometimes I think when we're in a moon period, when we're in a period of fear or not knowing where things are going or a period of mystery, we get so used to it that it is unexpected when we leave it because we just think that life is going to be like that forever, you know? And so I feel like there's a change coming in for you and it is a little unexpected because... Is, is it totally unexpected? No. But is it a little bit unexpected? Yes. Because, you know, again, I think it's like a drastic change because you have the sun twice in this last row as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the four cups, you have the fool. Definitely time for a new beginning. Definitely time for you to take a leap of faith. Again, if any opportunity comes in for you, I mean, just going this way as well. You know, that four swords, four cups, that could be like not noticing something when it comes your way or thinking that something is too good to be true when it isn't. It's actually very lucky. So don't be afraid to, you know, jump on any opportunities that come in for you. With the death card, you have the six of cups. Uh, could be love coming in for some of you. Could be like a soulmate coming in uh, for others. I just feel like this is, you know, I always say that six of cups to me can represent a gift from the universe. And the gift we usually receive from the six of cups is a turnaround, like basically obstacles being removed from our life or um, any obstacles that have been in our way could be getting removed with this energy. And so I feel for some of you, uh, you know, that's what could be coming in for you is kind of like obstacles just being removed from your life. Uh, with the moon card, you have the four of cups. See, I like this four of cups actually because these three cups are pouring into this like one big cup. It's almost like you're getting a lot more of what you want and less of what you don't want. So like in love, for example, nobody's perfect. Of course, I don't think we should be looking for perfection either. I think people think they want that, but I think it would be boring to be with a perfect person. It doesn't even exist. But what I would say here is I think you're getting more of what you do want, less of what you don't want. Now, same thing in work or business or even in your finances as well. I also feel that, you know, temperance is like, I do get this like waiting period for you where you like, and I think we've said this, that you've been waiting for something. Temperance is like pouring water back and forth. It's almost like you've been going through the motions for so long, you know, pouring water back and forth, trying to transform your situation that it is like a little unexpected when it actually does happen, right? Uh, next, you have this sun card. It says your perseverance is rewarded. Yes, I, you because you have not given up, which this whole entire reading basically says, then you are going to receive your rewards. I want to see what this next card is. Yeah, you have this siren card. It says temptation may lead you astray. Guess what? Moon card. The moon card has these two pillars, like right here. Those two pillars are a warning to the fool. They say, do not get off your path. Remember the original reason that you went on this path or on this journey in the first place. Again, these mountains in the background represent an achievement. So the moon does not say stop. The moon does not say turn around. The moon says keep working towards something. So again, clearly you have been perseverant. You haven't given up on something and you're about to be rewarded, but I feel like you need to like keep, you know, keep on trucking. You have the emperor, the four wands and the sun card here. Clearly there's going to be re a lot of reasons for you to be happy at this time. So I do feel like there could be a lot of happiness and joy coming in for you with this energy. I feel like there's a lot of abundance as well coming in for you with the sun for some reason. The sun is, of course, a card of abundance, but, you know, it's not like one of the, it's not one of the things that I always say with the sun. <laughs> but what I would say is that with the Ace of Pentacles twice, again, that is like a garden. It is something that you have to nurture into existence. It is something that really needs to be taken care of to be created, the, the um, Ace of Pentacles, right? And the, so a garden requires sun. And I feel like something is getting a lot of positive attention here. Uh, it also seems to me like you're stepping through a portal. You know, it's like you've been on this side of the card. You're going through the portal here that is in the middle of the four of wands. And I feel like you're going to be having a celebration in the near future. And I again, I get really happy vibes. You have a lot of golden cards here. Well, several, I wouldn't say a lot, but um, you know, Fool, Knight of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Cups here. 
Uh, even the Emperor as well could be kind of a golden card. You even have the Three Cups, which is a card of joy. It's not a golden card. It's blue, but, um, you know, it can be a card of joy and happiness. So, uh, you know, happiness seems to be like a major focus for you here as well. You also have the Emperor. I feel like, uh, number one, you can be attracting a person like the Emperor. I'm, I'm, I don't think that it's necessarily an Aries. I think it could be a person who has Aries in their chart. Uh, it also could be a person who's older than you who really kind of like takes the lead. I feel like it's a person who's a leader, you know, like a leader in life. Maybe they're a boss or a mentor or, you know, something like that. Or maybe they have like a leadership role at work or something. And it's standing out to me that they would have a leadership role. Like that is popping into my head is important. It doesn't matter what gender you're into either. I feel like it could be any gender. I also feel like you're ready to take action with this card. It's like you're about to take action on something. And uh, let's see what you are about to uh, make a move on here, Cancer. With the Emperor, you have the Two of Wands, getting out into the world. <laughs> on the Two of Wands, normally the guy is standing at the top of his castle and he's kind of like looking out into the world, but he has a whole world in his hands. Like if he just realized that he had everything he needed, like right here, and if he, re you know, he needs to realize really that that world that he's holding on to is a world of opportunity. It's a world that he's never experienced before, but he's like staying in a comfort zone. So Two of Wands to me, is a card of like taking the lead, getting out of a comfort zone, going on an adventure. The chariot, normally on a traditional chariot, he has a city behind him. And he's leaving the city behind him behind. He's doing this so that he can set himself apart. He's trying to be unique. He, or he, he needs to find a place where he can be unique. He needs to find new opportunities, but he's not going to find them where he is. So he has to look in different places. And I do feel that two wands and the Emperor is saying, maybe you're finally ready to kind of look in different places for the things that you want. With the Four Wands, <laughs> you have the Emperor. Uh, here you go. Are you kidding? Like mar a marriage card with the card that I just said was probably love coming in. So for those of you that want love, there you go. Uh, if, if For all of you, even if you do want love, but if you don't as well, what I would say is that the Four of Wands is a card of commitment and the Emperor is committing to an action. So I feel if you could commit to action in work or business or your career, clearly there's a lot of success and attention for you. You have the sun twice. You have that sun card in the Oracle deck and you also have the sun in the tarot. And the sun to me is a card of attention. I've been telling everybody, we have Pluto going into Aquarius. I would be trying to get as much positive attention as you possibly can. And we want positive attention, uh, negative attention, like doing bad stuff. <laughs> Obviously that's not gonna be good. But if you do good things, then you could get really positive attention that's going to lead to like a lot more success, a lot of abundance, good things. With the sun, you have the high priestess here. And you have two Pisces cards. Could be a Pisces for some of you as well in love. But I really feel that this is saying trust your intuition. Uh, the high priestess, she also normally does not have a roof over her head. And I always say that the fact that she doesn't have a roof over her head suggests that there is like unlimited potential to basically anything that she wants to create in her life. It doesn't really matter what, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter what she wants to create. She can create pretty much anything she wants and make it successful, but she has to take action. The other thing is, is that the Ace of Pentacles twice. Ace of Pentacles uh, is basically potential. You know, Ace of Pentacles just represents things in life that have potential, um, but if we don't take action, then nothing's gonna happen. So definitely time to take action. I'm going to pull three yes or no question cards now here, Cancer. We're going to do one, two, and three. Uh, if you don't have a question, that's fine too. I'm going to put all three together at the end, kind of like a personalish reading, but uh, we're doing one, two, three. So feel free to pause the video and um, think of questions if you need to, but I'm going to answer the questions right now. Uh, for question number one, I would say, uh, I feel like this is a new beginning. I would say Yes, if you're asking about leaving something behind, no otherwise. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And sorry, one of my dog hairs is uh, floating around here. But uh, what I would say here is I feel like there are blessings coming in from a new beginning, but I would say no if you're not asking about a new beginning. Uh, next, I would say yes for question number two. You have the high priestess, or sorry, the um, uh, hangman. I was thinking about Pisces. That's why I said that. So again, clearly could be a Pisces coming in for some of you. But for others, I kind of get this feeling of just waking up here. 
And for question number three, I would say yes. See, I feel like if you're asking about an important question that requires an expert, as I always say, King of Swords is my card of getting an expert. Like if you're dealing with a health issue, a legal issue, you know, get a doctor, get a lawyer. Uh, if you're dealing with a problem with your car, go have someone who knows what they're doing do it. Don't do it yourself, right? Uh, King of Swords to me, it, it's like always beneficial where, like even if you could do something for yourself, it's like it would be better to like hire an expert. It reminds me, like I have a buddy who like claims that he knows how to do electrical work, but like one time he shocked himself super bad trying to save money, not having an uh, expert come do some electrical work at his house, like lesson learned, right? So it's like, yeah, you might be able to do something, but is there someone who can just get the job done, <laughs> right? So that's what I'd say there. Um, putting it all together, I feel like some of you have had a difficult ending in the past, something where you felt like a victim, you know, and again, I'm not saying you are a victim. I'm just just saying that and some of you might feel like you have, have been victimized. I'm not discounting that either. But what I would say is I kind of feel that you have healed from this or are going through a healing process. And this could be someone uh, who's coming in for you in love, who's much, much more like mature, successful, just better all the way around again, emperor <laughs> type energy. From, for others, this could just be you having learned from a difficult ending, could be in like work or business. And I feel like it's making you more successful, but uh, I really like where this is going, Cancer. So thank you for being here, really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.